Okay, everybody. Everybody come to your mats. Sitting in a comfortable seated position. It can be whatever is comfortable for you. Maybe just an easy sitting pose. Maybe sitting on your knees or on a pillow. And close your eyes. Starting with a short mini seated meditation just to enter our practice together. Feeling the alignment of your spine, lengthening upwards. Shoulders are open and back, heart is open. Make sure you're really sitting on your sit bones and that when you lengthen your spine, you don't also find yourself coming into this little back bend and maybe leaning forward, overextending. Just find this nice, neutral posture. And start to connect to your breath and your body. Feeling what happens to your body as you breathe deeply and as you focus on your breath. Bring your awareness to your breath. Be aware of your body's position. Maybe any differences in your left and right side. Being aware, observing without any judgment. Keeping the eyes closed, we'll bring the hands together and start rubbing them to create heat and energy, Reiki, healing powers. And we're gonna start to massage the vagus nerve, which travels behind the ears. So really get your hand behind your ears and just massage that whole area. The vagus nerve activates our parasympathetic system, allowing us to feel more relaxed, more at ease, relief and reduce our stress and anxieties. Really get in there, giving yourself a nice little self-massage. If you feel comfortable and your hands are clean, you can move to the face. Rubbing the face around as if you're washing your face. Coming under the eyes, massaging the sinuses. In between the eyes, on the eyebrows. Give yourself a nice, gentle face massage. No need to get real deep in there, but just increasing the circulation flow within all the nerves and sinus tubes in our face. <laughs> you can move to the neck now, the front of the neck, the sides of the neck, the back of the neck, maybe the top of the skull here. sure just by doing this we already feel 10 times more relaxed and you can do this at all times whenever you feel like you just need a second to yourself from here we'll move into some lymph node circulation massages which will be very gentle no need for a lot of pressure we're gonna work from our extremities from the fingertips and just brush your arm to your heart to the center of your chest and keep working on that same arm for a moment, making sure you're getting all the sides, turning the arm around, working from the fingertips to the heart. And we'll go to the other side, coming to the other hand, working from the extremities, the fingertips, all the way to the heart, to the center of your chest. Really nice. 
Smooth through the legs now, starting from your feet and rubbing all the way up to your belly. Legs to belly. If you want, you can even open the legs for a moment. Really get this nice, long, straight lymph node massage here. Really helping the body detox and drain out all those stiff liquids that occur when we sit for too long or if we're eating unhealthily or not moving our bodies enough. We're just gonna help our body with this drainage system just a little bit. Amazing. From here, we'll come back to our seated position. Close the eyes. And now we'll bring the hands to the belly, doing a little breathing exercise called belly breathing. Also activating our parasympathetic system, helping us to relax, feel more at ease. You can connect your index finger on your belly button and the hands on the rest of the belly. And just start to breathe, focusing your breath in the belly region, trying not so much to breathe from the chest before you normally do. So instead of really opening the chest open, really try to focus your breath only in the belly. Inflating and deflating. Focus your breath more on the exhale than the inhale. Working on our exhales also activate the parasympathetic system. So really deep in that exhale. chin mudra, the higher consciousness mudra, placing them on your knees lightly. And I'll teach you one of the vayus, the outer vayus. A vayu is a gate of the body. And we're going to do one of them to really release all of the toxins of our body, all the negativity in the world, negative thoughts, anything you want to release in this practice, really focus on that on every um, part of this practice. So we're gonna inhale, you can close the eyes. Inhale through the nose, very deeply. Turn to the right with your face. Stick your tongue out all the way. And exhale from the mouth. This might sound strange, but it's amazing in allowing ourselves to really throw out all this negativity from our bodies, from our systems, from our energy. Coming back to center, inhale deeply. Turn to the left, stick out your tongue all the way and exhale completely. <sighs> inhale to center. Turn to the right, exhale, throw out that tongue. <sighs> back to center, inhale. Turn to the left, exhale. Back to center, we'll do one more on each side. Inhale. Turn to the right, exhale. Inhale back to center. And exhale on the left. Coming back to center for a moment. Feeling the energy that's moving through your body. Maybe feeling a bit lightheaded really were throwing out all that negativity, your body was probably working a little hard there. Breathing deeply. 
here, we'll open our eyes slightly. Then we'll enter some neck stretches, relieving any, any tension from the necks. Starting with some circles. Try to move as slow as possible. Being aware of what's happening in your neck during the stretch. Maybe where else you're feeling it. Everything in your body is connected. So if you can really close your eyes and practice on the inside, feel what's going on on the inside, maybe you'll start to feel a stretch like this one in your shoulders, all the way down to your middle back, your ears or the top of your skull, shoulders, fingertips, whatever sensations you're feeling elsewhere, try to connect to those as well. And change direction. Still breathing deeply, connecting every movement to your breath. Come back to center. We'll bring the right arm over the left ear, over your head. And slightly with light pressure, bring the head to the right side. Don't need to really press. Just the weight of the arm is enough. Breathing deeply here for a moment. From here, we'll walk the fingers from the ear to the bottom of the skull and bring the head to the right bottom side. So from our side bend, we're just going to look down, moving the stretch from the side of our neck to a little bit more back. Coming back to center, taking a moment in between to feel the differences on the sides of your neck. And we'll switch sides, bringing the left arm to your right ear, over your head, slight pressure, deep in this nice neck stretch to the side. Walking the fingers, a little bit to the back of your neck now, still on the side, almost to the bottom of your skull here, and looking down now to the left side, Coming back to center, taking a moment to feel that nice stretch on the right side of your neck. We'll bring both our hands, intertwine them, interlace them, and bring them to the back of our heads now, to the lower part of our skull. And bring our head all the way down. You'll feel this nice stretch here on the back of your neck, on the top of your spine. Breathe deeply here for a moment. Lowering the hands down behind you now, we'll look up. And as we look up, also try to open the chest, shoulders back. Gomukasana hands cow face. You don't have to come into such an intense shoulder stretch, but the elbow is up and the left arm is behind the back. Press your head into your right arm. Really activate that right shoulder. Oh. 
always feel free to close your eyes in any posture when you want to feel a little bit more inside. And we'll switch arms. Left arm comes up. Right arm grabs that left elbow. For a moment, really pulling on that elbow, opening that left shoulder and the side of the body. And from here, we can bring that right arm down, crossing our lower back or the middle of our back. And press your head into that left arm, activating that left shoulder. Slowly release, inhale, the arms open. Open that chest forward, exhale, we're gonna bring the right arm across our chest, left arm, allowing us to come into a nice internal rotation in the shoulder. And inhale, open, switch sides. Exhale as the left arm comes over chest. Right arm locks that arm in to get a little bit closer to the body. Nice. Coming back to center, open the hands. Exhale, come forward and switch your legs now. Whatever is forward, bring it back. Whatever was back, bring it forward. Inhale, the hands open like we just did, opening the chest forward, shoulders back all the way as if you want your shoulders to touch. Shoulder blades. And exhale, bring the hands all the way forward, connecting the fingers, looking down at your belly button. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your hands to your knees. Feel free to add a little bit of movement here in the spine for a moment, circling the spine in one direction. And to the other direction. Just allowing, allowing the energy to flow freely throughout our backs, our spines, our shoulders. Releasing any tension, any stiffness. Really nice. From here we'll move on to our backs. Laying on the ground. We're gonna activate our abs for a moment here. We store serotonin and dopamine in the stomach. So we wanna activate the abs a little bit, get those hormones really ignited, allowing us to feel happier and lighter. Inhale the hands up. Exhale, we're gonna bring elbows to knees. Inhale, drop the legs, hands come overhead. Exhale, contract. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Doing five more on your own time at your own pace. Bring our hands 
behind our heads, the lower part of our skulls. And we're gonna start crisscrossing, doing a scissor leg here, bringing the right elbow to the left knee. Left elbow to right knee. Keep going at your own pace. Feel free to work slower or faster. Just doing this nice twisting ab activation. When we twist, we also detox. Make sure you're still breathing. Couple more seconds. And bring the head back down to the ground. Legs meet back together at 90 degrees. We'll bring the hands up and start to do toe taps or just the direction of the toe. Feel free to work as intensely as you please. A little bit more ab activation. I like to do my toe taps with active exhalations and passive inhalations. So it's like a... So see if that works for you as well. Knowing that when we exhale, we activate the core, which it will enhance your ab activation. Couple more seconds. And release the legs back down. Hug your knees in, grabbing elbows, bringing your head to your knees for a moment in wind release pose, Supta Bala Mukhtasana in Sanskrit. We're in complete flexion here, but we're still breathing deeply and we still have this peace, the stillness within us. Slowly release the head back down to the ground. We'll bring our hands onto our knees. Inhale as we push our knees forward. Exhale as we pull our knees toward our chest. Breathe deeply here. Working on the extension and contraction here of our diaphragm, which is located at the bottom of our ribs. And we're keeping the hands on our knees here because we don't want the knees to come too far forward that will arch too much in the back. Couple more breaths. We'll drop our hands to the sides of our body and shoulder height and draw some circles on the ceiling with our knees together, massaging the lower back for a moment. You can draw the circle as big as you please. And change direction. We'll drop our feet to the ground here. And we'll windshield wipe the knees, bringing the knees to the right side. The feet stay in the center. And we'll look towards the left, coming into a nice twist here. Taking a couple breaths. Bringing the knees back to center, head back to center as well, and we'll bring the knees to the left side, looking towards the right side. Couple breaths here. When we twist, we create more space in the spine. We detox. 
twisting in the abdominal organ area. We also clear the mind and feel more clarity. So we want to add a lot of twists into our therapeutic yoga session, cleansing the body and the mind. Coming back to center, we'll add some movement here. Move at your own pace to the right and to the left, opposite direction with the head. Connecting the movement to your breath. Inhaling as you rise, exhaling as you fall. Coming back to center, we'll bring the hands by our hips, palms on the ground, making sure that the feet are hips distance, facing forward, legs are parallel to each other, and we'll enter a bridge here. Inhaling, we're going to lift the hips and bring the hands overhead, really allowing that chest to open, shoulders to open, and exhale. Bring the hands back down by your hips, lowering the hips to the ground. Inhale, press into your feet, hands overhead. Make sure that when you come up that your knees don't open as well. By pressing into the soles of our feet, we make sure our knees stay forward. Exhale, come down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Couple more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. I'm also giving a little massage here to the shoulders. I hope you can feel it. Inhale up. Exhale down. Last time, inhale up, exhale down, beautiful. From here, we'll meet each other in a standing position. Feel free to get up in whatever way you please. Coming to the center of your mat. You can either be with feet together or a little bit open, not too wide, maybe a couple centimeters if that's more comfortable for you. We're gonna inhale, the hands up. Exhale, bring the hands by your hips. Close your eyes. Entering our Tadasana posture, mountain pose. Close your eyes now and really enter your body. See what's going on here. If you're rocking your weight in any direction, or if you're steady in the center of your feet. If your shoulders are open or if they're slouching forward. Your spine is elongated and lengthening up, not curving forward or backwards. We're activating the core just slightly in Tadasana to make sure that we have a nice balanced core and lower back here, that not one is lower or higher than the other. And feel what happens in your body as you breathe deeply in your Tadasana. Make sure you're not locking the knees as well. Sometimes we have a tendency to lock the knees and bring them all the way back. So create a nice little micro bend in the knees. It will also help bring the weight of your body to the center. Here we'll inhale the hands up. Exhaling, we're gonna come forward into a forward fold, but slowly with the hands still by the ears, tucking the abs towards your spine, activating the abs as we lower slowly. And once you feel your lower back start to activate and engage, bend the knees immediately. And slowly bring the hands to the ground. We're in a forward fold now with bent knees. 
We really want to protect the spine here in our therapeutic yoga class. We have a tendency in a normal yoga class is to really straighten the legs and activate and pull and pull and pull. But we don't focus on the lower back enough. So really bend the knees so you feel your stomach on your thighs. If you have to get to a squat to feel that, it's, it's totally okay. So find your place in your forward fold where your back is completely straight. We're only hinging at the hips here to get into our forward fold. No curling in the spines. Really nice. I'm gonna do a couple more rounds of these. Inhale, the hands come up by your ears, and we're going to come out the same way we came in. Lengthening in the legs until we start to activate our abs. Inhale up. Exhale, rest for a moment. Inhale, the hands up. Exhale, slowly lowering down, activating the core, pushing that belly button to your spine. And once you start to feel any tension or activation in the lower back, bend the knees immediately and start to lower your hands to the ground. You can relax the neck and the head here. One more deep breath. And inhale, rising up the same way we came in. It takes a couple breaths to get up, it's totally okay. Same with the coming down. Inhale the hands up, one more time. Exhale, slowly coming forward, almost like you wanna get into a 90 degree angle. And then the lower back starts to kick in, so we bend the knees, hands to the ground. Stopping here in our forward fold, See if you can straighten the legs just a little bit wherever you are in your variation of this bent leg forward fold, even if you're squatting or if you're just slightly bending. We want to keep the belly and, and chest to the thighs. We're just working from this straightening of the knees and bending the knees here, maybe coming into a little bounce. And inhale, the hands forward, coming out. Exhale, rest. Beautiful. Open the legs into a wide angle now. We're gonna open the hands by your side just for a moment. And in our wide angle, make sure your toes are facing more inwards than outwards. Open the chest forward. When we enter these heart openers, these chest openers, our sternum is activated and we have the thymus gland there, which is responsible for creating T cells. So when we do heart openers, we create more T cells and our T cells help raise our immunity, our immune systems. So we really want to work on that here, especially in this time of the corona outbreak and all these viruses as well as just feeling better in our bodies. So we're gonna tap on our sternum now, activating it even more. While we open our hearts, keep opening the hearts, keep opening the shoulders back and just tap slightly on your sternum. Your sternum is this long plate in between your chest. You can touch it here, it's just, it's like tapping a plate. And release down, close your eyes for a moment. We're gonna inhale the hands up. Exhale, coming down, bring our hands to the ground into a wide angle fold. If we need to use a prop here, maybe a block or a chair, um, if you have one, so if you can't reach the ground or maybe widening the angle, find what's comfortable for you. We're gonna bring that left hand to the center in between our legs, placing it strongly onto the ground, flat, palm down. And inhale the right hand up towards the sky, looking towards our right hand. 
Coming into a nice standing twist. Again, we love twists when we want to detox, release the toxins from our body, as well as release tension from the back. Breathe deeply here. And slowly switch sides. Bring that right hand to in between your legs. Palm down. And that left hand towards the sky, looking towards your left hand. Breathe deeply. One more seconds. And lower down. And we'll start to enter a little bit more movement here. You can move at your own pace. Inhale the right hand up. Exhale, switch hands. Inhale the left hand up. Exhale down, switch hands. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Couple more on your own. Amazing. From here we'll turn towards our left leg to come to the front of the mat or right, depending what direction you're in. And coming into a tabletop position, preparing us for cat cow. Bring the hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. We're gonna inhale, look up, drop the belly to the ground, open the shoulders back. Exhale, push on your hands, push on your legs, squeeze your glutes, use everything in your body to push your spine towards the sky, drop the head. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Couple more on your own, at your own pace. Feel free to move as slow as you want or as fast as you want. Whatever feels right for you in this moment, in this practice, in this day. Everything is always changing. That is the only constant thing. I'm taking a moment here to circle the spine out. The legs and the arms stay the same, just moving the hips and the spine around like you're cleaning a jar of Nutella or peanut butter with your finger. And the opposite direction. From here we'll bring our left arm under our right armpit coming into a thread the needle. You can keep your right arm on the floor helping you get go deeper into the twist a bit. Or you can bring your right arm behind your back and bind around your back to grab your left thigh. The head is relaxed. Breathing deeply into this posture, into your shoulder. Going deep into the connective tissues here. Releasing more and more tension and stress. We store a lot of stress and anxiety in the shoulders. That's why the saying goes, he's carrying the weight of the world in his shoulders. So we really want to give some extra love here, some extra moments, extra deep breaths. Releasing all of that out.
slowly coming back to center, bringing that right arm back down to the ground, or if it's already there, just lifting up into your tabletop. And we'll come to the other side, bringing the right arm under your left armpit, slowly coming down, put, putting all your weight onto that right shoulder. You can use your left hand to enter the twist a little bit more, pushing down into that right hand, into that left hand. And then either leaving it there or bringing it behind your back and binding, grabbing your right thigh. More deep breaths. Coming back to center, bring that left hand down, pushing up into your tabletop. We'll move back into a child's pose. Feel free to do it either with knees together or a wide angle child's pose, whatever feels more comfortable for you right now. And you have the option to bring your hands forward or backwards and hold your feet. Depending on whether you want to work on this nice open shoulder or not, it's up to you. And in your child's pose, rest your forehead on the ground, almost like you're trying to press on your third eye. Activating our third eye chakra. The third eye is connected to your sight, to how you see the world, and seeing things truthfully for how they really are. So hopefully connecting to this third eye chakra, the Ajna chakra, we can leave this practice feeling a little bit more clarity, a little bit more connected to our truth, our true nature. Feel your breath against your thighs. Being aware of what's going on in your body in this posture, what you're feeling, any sensations that arise. Really opening up the back of the body. Almost feeling like you're breathing from your back instead of the front side of your body, which is what we normally feel. Every inhale, feeling your shoulders and your waist expand. Every exhale, bringing them back together, compressing down more into the ground. If your hands aren't already forward, bring them forward. And we're gonna walk the fingers all the way to the right as much as we can, just inching the fingers like little spiders walking on the floor all the way to the right until you can't anymore. And then drop the head again. Coming into a little lateral side bend stretch in our child's pose.
walk the fingers back to center. And all the way to the left side, really inching the fingers centimeter by centimeter, like little spiders, insects crawling across the floor. All the way to the left so you can't anymore, and drop the head again. Slowly inch the fingers back to center again. And sit up slowly. Taking a moment to return to your normal breath in Vajrasana, the Thunderbolt Pose. Next, we're going to enter headstand. I'm going to go into headstand if you prefer to work on a different version because headstand isn't in your practice, that's okay. You can come into shoulder stand, down dog, bridge, any inversion you know and that you want to do today. You can also work on your inversions like headstand, handstand, form stand by wall if you're not comfortable in the middle of a room yet. So just prepare yourself in whatever, um, whatever you need to do to get into your inversion. If you're gonna come into headstand with me, we're gonna come with our hands on the ground Grabbing our elbows for a moment, checking the, making sure that the distance between our elbows are correct. Opening the hands, interlacing the fingers, bringing the top of your head onto the ground, your crown. Going onto your, the toes of your feet, you're going to lift your hips up. Now you can also just stay in this posture. If headstand isn't in your practice, this is a great prep pose. Just working from here, walking the feet towards your head, feeling your hips over your head, over your shoulders, and walking back. And walking forward, and walking back. From here, we'll enter our headstand, lifting one leg up, and then the other, coming into a, almost like a split. It will also help you find your balance easier if you're learning how to headstand. And slowly bring the legs together. Making sure you're pressing into the elbows, spreading out the shoulders. Or just breathing deeply in whatever inversion you chose today. It's important to invert yourself for almost five minutes every day to reverse the effects of gravity and also enhance our good mood, our happy mood. Bring more circulation to the head so the heart can work less. There's amazing benefits to inverting every day. So really try to find an inversion that works for you and enter it for at least five minutes a day. It can also be split up. It doesn't have to be at the same time. It can be for a couple seconds here, a couple seconds there, a minute there, a minute there, or five minutes together. Just so you know. We'll slowly come out of the inversion that we chose with control and ease. And taking a moment in Vajrasana again. Regular seated posture, Thunderbolt pose. Close the eyes. Channel the effects of your inversion circulation in your head and your neck. Seeing if you feel any change in mood, maybe a little bit more energy. And here we'll slowly come back onto our back. Come into a deep reclined twist. So bring the legs forward on the floor, making sure you're on the center of your mat. We're gonna hug that right knee to chest, 
Really hug it for a moment before we enter the twist. Creating nice compression here in the hip, massaging the abdominal organs on your right side. And circle your ankle to one side and to the other. The head is relaxed on the ground. Slowly take that right knee to the left side, all the way to the ground. And then bring our right arm to the side of our body, looking towards that right hand. Now you can actively work in your deeper climb twist by pressing onto your knee, making sure that it's on the ground, and also trying to twist even harder in your upper back to make sure both of your shoulders are on the ground. So you can actively work here, or you can just rest in your passive twist hands out by your shoulders and just letting the twist take toll as it pleases. Making sure you're looking towards the right as the twist begins at the top of your spine and your neck. Recline twist to really straighten that straight leg, the left leg that's on the ground. Really straighten it with a point and enter the twist just a little bit more for a moment and then release. Slowly coming back to center. Making sure the body's on the middle of the mat still. We're going to switch sides. Bring the left knee to chest. Hugging it really hard. Nice compression in the hip. Massaging the abdominal organs on the left side now. Circling the ankle. The head is relaxed on the ground. And circling to the opposite side. Gonna bring that left knee to the right side now, all the way until that knee hits the ground. Open that left hand towards the left side, look towards your left hand. And again, feel free to work here actively or passively. body on the mat. We're going to bring the legs together, hands by our side. We're going to do an instant relaxation technique before we enter our Shavasana. So the hands are by the side, the feet are together. We're going to start squeezing the entire body from our feet to our head. So I'll direct you guys. Close your eyes. Start squeezing your toes, squeezing your feet together, squeezing your shins, Tightening your shins, squeezing your knees together, tightening your thighs, squeezing your hips, squeezing your glutes, clenching in your butt, squeezing your abs, activating your core, squeezing your hands coming into fists, squeezing the arms by the body, squeezing the shoulders inward, squeezing the chest, squeezing the neck towards your body, making a weird squinchy lemon face, sque squeezing every muscle in your face, tensing up in your whole body, keep squeezing, Keep squeezing, keep squeezing, and release completely. Hopefully, hopefully that felt um, amazing. <laughs> I really love this instant relaxation technique. You 
can do it whenever you want to get that one second instant relaxation technique and throughout your day just to feel this immense release out of the body it's complete relief throughout your muscles and from here we'll enter our shavasana you can just stay wherever you landed in your release or you can open the feet a little bit more make sure the palms are facing up shoulders are away from the ears and bring them back down to the ground tuck in the the chin a little bit closer towards the chest so you feel your neck a little bit more um, grounded as well. Just breathe deeply here. That's all you have to do for a couple moments in time. Really giving your body this time to heal. It's time to breathe deeply. 100% connected and aware of what's going on within you. Take a moment to look at all the little muscles in your body as well. Make sure they're all released, feeling as if they're melting towards the ground. left arm to your heart. Take a moment to feel your heart beat. The power of your heart working 24-7 to pump blood to your entire body. All day, every day, even when you're sleeping. And when you're ready, We'll meet in a seated pose. Try to come up keeping your eyes closed, just feeling all the sensations that go on when we move. You can sit in whatever comfortable seated position you'd like. Your hands can be in the center on your knees and just return to your normal breath. Being aware of your body's posture, your open shoulders, heart open, long spine. Bring the hands together and start rubbing to create that heat and energy like we did in the beginning of the practice. And bring it to any place on your body you want to send some extra healing, extra love extra TLC, maybe the lower back, the shoulders, the neck, wherever you need to send that extraness. And rub your hands one more time and place them over your eyes slightly without any pressure, just so that you see this darkness and do circles with your eyes in one direction. Even the eyes need a little bit of exercise and circling to the other direction. And bring your hands out in front of you and slowly start to open your eyes, blinking, looking into your palms, your own palms, your own hands, showing you the lines of your life, past, present, and future. 
Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know.